Hey, 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 guys, welcome back and happy Friday. Guys, don't forget, we're going live for Hot Messy Topics tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you all join us for a fun-filled live conversation. I can't wait, and I can't wait to talk with all of you. We have some great topics tonight, but don't forget, it's subscribers only. So if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And also, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that notification bell. It helps. So we're back to talk about the fact that Erica Girardi, we listened to a podcast that was done with Us Weekly, and it was the Real Moms of Bravo podcast with a woman named Vanessa Rizzi and also Abby Steffens. And they talk about how they feel Erica Girardi feels guilty for leaving Tom in the first place. It's an interesting take. So we have all the details. Before we jump in, go ahead, do all of those things like Emily D. Baker calls them, the youtube things. And with that, let's do the damn thing. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys. So again, the Real Moms of Bravo podcast with Vanessa Rizzi and Abby Steffens. Well, they join Us Weekly's Getting Real with the Housewives podcast, and they broke down the reunion and their perspective of how Erica Girardi was. Now, I've asked you guys multiple times because we've covered every part of the reunion, all four exhausting parts where Andy Cohen promised and said, this is going to be a great reunion. We left nothing on the table. You get all of your questions answered. And I feel like that is not the truth. I love Andy Cohen. I love Bravo. I love the network, but I don't feel like that's true. I don't feel like we got a lot of the answers. Honestly, half the time I feel like she was like, hold on. I can't answer that. Well, I'm not allowed to answer that. Sure, we found out that there was allegedly three mistresses, and we found out that she talks to Tom now, which we didn't know, but that's not really groundbreaking. It's not what we thought it was going to be, so sorry. Now, Stefan said, I thought it was interesting that she was crying about everything with Tom. It seemed like there was a lot of sadness and so much sadness for what he put her through, but I feel like she feels guilty for leaving him. That's an interesting take, but it was also said it almost seemed like she had a lot of guilt associated with leaving him, which she didn't show during the season. Now, I think that's, again, an interesting take because I feel like she, no, she, this woman was with this man for over two decades. To say that there would be no connection, you would have to be crazy. There had to have been some sort of connection to keep her around in the first place. And I know what you guys are immediately going to comment. Yeah, it's called money. Okay, I get it. but even though you might, and we're not saying that Erica was in the relationship for the wrong reasons, but even though someone could potentially be in the relationship for wrong reasons, you don't know if they're going to eventually establish some sort of connection. I mean, oh, I'm not going to use that comparison, but you get what I mean. She added, I don't know if the realness of the fact that her marriage with Tom is officially actually over and that it's hitting her now more than it was when she was filming. But I was surprised to see that she had so much sadness when she was starting to talk about Tom. So they're saying that they were surprised to see that she was bawling her eyes out, especially when saying, when I talk to Tom, it's sad. He's not really all there. We know that he's allegedly suffering from Alzheimer's and dementia. And she said that her her phone calls, they're devastating. He's not mentally capable of holding the conversation. And when she asks things, you know, he doesn't have an answer. He just deflects. So I don't know if she's sad about the fact that her relationship is over or if she's sad about the fact that she feels Tom left her with $25 million worth of a lawsuit, plus all of these other creditors, debtors, and victims pointing their fingers at Erica Girardi saying, oh no, girl, just because he has Alzheimer's and dementia, doesn't mean that you do. So we're going to get our money one way or another, whether we have to get it from him or you, you're still married. Sorry. Now we know that Erica was accused of a sham divorce and she has been accused of helping Tom allegedly hide some of the money that, you know, he allegedly embezzled from these very real victims. But she still claims that she did not. She still claims that She had no idea of what was going on. She feels like she shouldn't have to pay any of this back. And her attorney says the exact same thing. Erica explained to Andy Cohen, I just wanted to make sure he was safe because after the pictures came out and it looks so bad, I just wanted to make sure that he was in the right place. This is what Erica told Andy Cohen. While holding back tears, she said, he doesn't even acknowledge anything, none of it. It doesn't even matter what he says because he's incompetent. So I'm left holding the bag. 
Now, Erica, who is being sued for over $25 million for her supposed involvement in Tom Girardi's wrongdoings, again, has denied any wrongdoings. But one of our podcast moms said, I believe parts of her story. I think ultimately we want justice for the victims. And I feel like any time in the reunion where she kind of victimized herself, it took away some credibility for me. I agree with that statement. I think a lot of people feel that way. She also added, however, I do feel like she approached this and said, like, listen, guys, I'm in this wild story, which she did say at the end. And the podcast moms feel like had she have just kind of amplified that, that more people, more viewers, especially them, they would have been more understanding and sympathetic to Erica. One of the podcast moms also added, I just think the way she's told us all of these different stories and not showing a lot of remorse or compassion for the victims, it's really hard for me to take her seriously. All right. Well, it seems like it's not just her. It seems like there's a lot of us that are finding it really hard to take her seriously. But I do want to ask what you guys think about this, because there, there are a lot of questions that I have. And I'm curious, you know, we know that The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12 has picked up filming. We talk about it. And now we don't have to talk about it anymore, unless there are more stories that come out around the Girardi scandal, which there will be, but we won't be talking about the actual season itself. Jason has made it so clear to me that he doesn't want to watch next season if it's solely focused on the Girardi scandal. However, we know that we have a new woman being introduced to the group, Sanella Diana Jenkins, and she's super wealthy. She sold her $125 million Malibu estate. She has a lot of money, and she's the CEO and founder of a major music label. So I'm hoping that they add in new dynamics. They bring in fresh faces. They bring in people who are fully capable of asking the tough questions and getting in there. And if they do that, then we might have different storylines. It was pointed out to me, I think it was by Zach Peter. Unfortunately, these women who filmed a lot of their storylines last season, let's say Lisa Rinna, Crystal Kung Minkoff, Kyle Richards, Dorit Kimsley, a lot of their their storylines were overshadowed by the Girardi scandal because everyone wanted to know about the Girardi scandal. It was interesting. Everyone was like, wait a minute, this woman who had this whole persona that it was so expensive to be her, her whole world is financially crumbling down. So what the hell happened? Where, where did things go wrong? Everyone, unfortunately, loves a part of a scandal. That's why viewers are watching Beverly Hills. That's why viewers are now going to start tuning into Jen Shaw and the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, because we know that whole scandal is about to unfold. It's crazy, but people love to see it, and they like to see what the outcome is going to be. Guys, of course, we're going to be talking about this a little bit tonight in Hot Messy Topics, so don't forget we will be doing that live tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. I hope you guys all get to join us, and happy Friday, TGIF. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are the best. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you tonight. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think. Do you agree with the Real Moms of Bravo on the podcast where they talk to us weekly when they say that they feel Erica feels guilty for leaving Tom? Or do you think, no, they're reading too much into it and that is not the case at all? I know you guys are going to give me some unfiltered opinions now, so I can't wait. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.